7 Live with this news has its eye on education tonight, and there's a school in the southern tier that has kicked off a lunchtime initiative teaching students about inclusion. This is called No One Eats Alone. 7 Live with this news reporter Ala Araby pulls up a chair and sits us down for this story. This Valentine's Day is all about spreading the love, not just to those close to you, but to someone you've never hung out with before. It's actually pretty cool. I love it. At Olean Intermediate Middle School, students are celebrating the national No One Eats Alone Day. The idea is for everyone to feel included, make new friends, and not sit alone at lunch. You get a sticker, and, um, and you get to... Um, sit at that color of a table and then you get to meet new people that you haven't met yet. It's about getting out of your comfort zone and having lunch with classmates you might not have spoken to before. When I first came in, I thought, I thought I'm not going to be happy where I sit at, but, not, but I am. And, uh, and I'm thankful. The Lunchtime Initiative is also teaching students about inclusion. Most people might eat alone because they might have any physical or mental disabilities and we want to fix that. And listen to this student's advice about taking risks. You might be missing out on a really good friend opportunity if you're not like you don't try and mingle with everybody because like they could be your best friend. But since it's normal to get a little nervous, students got a helping hand from some St. Bonaventure University sports team players. This was a great way to, you know, get out here, meet some kids, uh, have some pretty cool conversations with them. The organizers tell me this is the first time the school has taken part in celebrating No One Eats Alone Day, and students loved it. In Olean, Ala Airby, 7 Eyewitness News.